We're going to talk a little bit about receiving and handling your chicken all the way through to your walk-in cooler. The first thing is you want to make sure that your vendor is certified and is delivering safe chicken. And the best way to tell that is when the chicken shows up, if you're buying frozen chicken, there are no ice crystals in the bag and it's not fogged over and white. That tells you that it was time and temperature stressed. It was allowed to defrost and refreeze. So you want to be careful with that. If you're receiving chicken that's fresh, it can't be above 41 degrees. And the way to check that, and most chicken comes in bags today, so you wouldn't stick your probe thermometer into the bag. You would take your probe thermometer and put it between two bags of chicken and read the internal temperature. Don't be afraid to refuse product if it's incorrect temperature. That is the beginning of an epidemic if you don't take care of the product on the way in. When you serve it, it will be affected and your customers will be affected. So we've received it, it's safe. It needs to go to the walk-in cooler immediately. It can't set out on a loading dock or in a back room for a period of time. Not only do you worry about time, you worry about rodents, you worry about contamination, whether it be cleaning liquids or like, you want to get it into the walk-in and, and do it quickly. You don't want your vendors going in your walk-in cooler. You don't know where their shoes are and the like and where they've been and where their two-wheelers have been. You need to take it from your loading area, which should be clean, into the walk-in cooler by an employee. And it needs to go on the bottom shelf of your cooler. Chicken needs to be on the bottom for two reasons. It has a tendency to drip, and secondly, it's gonna be the highest temperature product you need to cook.